The comeback will be bigger than the setback. Sometimes life gives you an uppercut and knocks you the fuck out and you're on the ground. And for a moment it seems like you're out, you're finished. The fight is over. But I want you to get back up and carry on the fight. Do not throw in the towel and quit on yourself. And look, I get it. There are experiences that you feel you cannot recover from. How the fuck am I going to get myself out of this mess? But let me remind you, you have survived 100% of your bad days. Do you know how I know that? Because you're still here and you're watching this video. Your track record when it comes to surviving your bad days is flawless. You're still here. And let me say this, if you're still breathing, God is not finished with you. If you are still breathing, God is not finished with you. I want you to wake up every single day, first of all, grateful that God has given you another opportunity to have another crack at it, another swing at bat, because many people did not wake up today. And I think we need to remind ourselves of that on a regular basis. Every time we get up and our heart is beating, we should be grateful for that. But then what I want you to do is to tell yourself that, you know what? I put myself in this mess. I can get myself out of it. Jim Rohn used to say, you are not a tree. You can move. That's the good thing about being a human being. You can make a new decision today that will alter the direction of your life. You can adjust the set of the sail. And as a result, you end up in a completely different place. Maybe you were heading that direction for so long, which was causing you pain and suffering. And then you make a slight adjustment to the set of the sail. And now you're heading on the right, in the right direction. So you have the ability to make a new decision. You know, a lot of human beings, men and women, adopt the victim belief system where they feel that there is no other way out, that they are going to forever remain in this situation that they're in. But that's far from the truth. And this victim mentality will rob you of a potentially remarkable life. You have convinced yourself there is no solution, but there is. And I'm not saying the solution is easy. Let me make that very clear. Sometimes getting yourself out of a, a situation is more difficult than the damage that put you in that situation to begin with. You're going to have to go through a lot of pain, but on the other side of pain is a much better life. On the other side of fear is that beautiful life that you have desired. And let me also make this clear. Life is chaotic in nature. You have to accept that. Accepting doesn't mean you like it. It means that you have come to terms with the brutal nature of life. Sometimes things can be going absolutely well and then all of a sudden something goes completely wrong. It's just the nature of life. We're not in heaven. Okay? However, the way you view your problems will determine whether or not it remains a problem for you. Because if you look at a problem and you're like, you know what? It's fucked. It's a difficult situation. But, and there's always that big but, I'm going to get myself out of it. I put myself in this. You've got to take complete responsibility, man. I put myself in this bloody mess. I have to get myself out of it. You're no longer a child. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You're not completely vulnerable. You're not a gazelle in the savannah. You are a grown man who made a series of decisions that led him to where he is right now. And you can make a series of decisions that will take you out of the situation that you're in right now. 
All right, my brothers, the way you view the problem will determine whether it remains a problem for you. Because you can overcome one problem at a time. Now, look, if you're fat, broke, and there's many different things that are going wrong right now, address the problems that are the biggest and that have the, the most potential catastrophic impact if left unaddressed. Your health being the biggest one. If you continue down this road of neglect, then, as Jim Rohn used to say, many years will have gone by and we'll look back and say, you have messed up. You don't want to look at yourself and see a 300-pound lump of flesh. Nah, you want to look at yourself in the mirror and think, you know what? I am a specimen of human performance. Look at me. Say mashallah to yourself. No evil eye. But look yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, man, I'm so proud of the work that I've put in. There's still a long way to go. And what I mean by that, I'm not saying body dysmorphia. I don't want you to feel insecure even when you're in great shape. No. No one's going to be perfect physically. But you can get pretty damn close to being in tip-top shape all year round. You can. So health is the most important thing to address. So if you're completely and utterly neglecting your health, you need to address that immediately. If you do not address it immediately, it will get worse. You know, I've said this before in videos, what motivates me to accomplish and keep going and set new goals for myself is not the desire for riches and materialistic possessions. It is the fear of staying the same. It is the fear of going back. I don't want to be down bad and broken. I don't want to experience that pain. So what pushes me to achieve more and more is not the money. It's the fact that I want to stay away from average. I'm allergic to average right now. And there's a saying, good is the enemy of great. Well, you know, good, good. Yeah, but why can't you be great? Now, look, not everybody wants to be a millionaire, and I'm absolutely understanding of that. I'm not one of those people that will say, you're going to live a shit life if you're not a millionaire. No. There's a lot of great people out there who enjoy the life they live, and they make 60 grand a year, and they've got a nice house. Obviously, more money helps you, gives you more options in life. So I certainly encourage you to pursue a life where you're making more and more money every month. You know, Jim Rohn used to say it best, set a goal to be a millionaire for what it will make of you to achieve it. Remember, the person you become in the process is far more important than what you achieve at the end of it, right? The, the, the being able to buy the house, the cars, right? So definitely set a goal to make as much money as possible, but it's not the only thing that matters. Okay, it's not the only thing that matters. For me, I want to keep pushing the boundaries. I want to see what I can accomplish this year that I couldn't accomplish last year. You know, you want to be able to look back at the last five years and think, wow, I don't even recognize who that man was. You don't want to look back and think, wow, I'm exactly the same. Nothing's changed. I mean, that would be really sad to say. And I know a lot of people who unfortunately feel this way about themselves, who made grand promises, talked a good game, but did not back up the talk with action. And it's not a surprise as to why they do not respect themselves, why their self-esteem is very low. Because they made grand promises to themselves and in some cases to their family, but they don't follow through. And now they feel like it's too late and there's nothing they can do about it and the time's over. And, and some of these guys are 40, 42, 43. It's like, well, are you going to decide to live the rest of your natural life just feeling sorry for yourself because you didn't grind when you were 25, 26, 27? No. As long as you're breathing, go out there. You can completely change everything in your life if you make a firm decision and you follow through on it you can it's never too late it really isn't as long as you're still breathing it's never too late
Now, there are opportunities, windows of opportunity that will drastically help you out in life if you take advantage of them. You know, I always say to young guys between the ages of 18 to 25, you've got seven years right there where hopefully you're not taking care of any kids of your own. You don't have a mortgage, right? You, had, you don't have any serious commitments. Those seven years are extremely valuable. Go balls deep on opportunities. Take as much risk as possible. You know, as long as it's relatively sensible, you know, don't blindly dump 10,000 into a crypto that you've never ever read into, you know, just because one of your mates told you to. No, that's not the kind of risk I'm talking about. But as in, you know, go out there and take courses, fly to events, network with people, invest in you. Because it does get trickier when you get older. It's not impossible and I don't want you to feel like a victim. Because you can become a better dad for your kids going forward. If you if you start taking action and you become more decisive and, you know, more bold, you teach your kids through your actions how to approach life. But also your wife will appreciate you because she will look at you and think, wow, for once, I'm not having to bug him when it comes to going out there and working hard. He's doing it himself. He's being more decisive. He's not sat around and feeling sorry for himself because a lot of guys are like that in their relationships. And if I'm honest with you, fellas, it is a recipe for divorce, for breakups, feeling sorry for yourself. It's not attractive. Women do not want to fuck a man they feel sympathy for. Get out of that state of mind. Oh, woe is me. My life is shit. No, do something about it. I'm not saying be naive about the situation that you're in and overlook it. No, address it. Don't overlook it. Address the mess that you put yourself in and take decisive action to ensure that you correct it. If you are breathing, you have the ability to make a new decision today that will change the course of your future. Be bold. Face that adversity head on, especially if you put yourself in that mess through a series of poor decisions. Don't run away from the work now. You put yourself in this damn mess. Even if it's harder getting out of it, you do it because it's important. It's necessary. It could affect your life directly, but also your family's life. The comeback will be so tremendous. It really will. There are situations that I look back on where I put myself in a silly mess, but then I got out of it. And my arm was raised victorious. And I told myself, you know what? I can do anything I put my mind to. I can. And I also learned a lot about decision making. And I learned that one bad decision today doesn't do much. But a series of bad decisions over a few years will mess you up. And as Jim Rohn says, or said, you will look back and say, I have messed up through a series of bad decisions. So don't think, oh, it's just, you know, it's just a drink now. It's just a cigarette now. I mean, those decisions will start accumulating. And then you put yourself in an extremely bad situation going into the future. But be an opportunist. Sorry, an optimist. Be an absolute optimist. Things will get better. And sometimes you've got to over-talk the negative voices in your head. When you get a negative voice, sometimes you just got to speak louder and tell yourself, no, I can do this. I will win. My arm will be raised victorious. I can scale that mountain. It's fucking high, but I ain't quitting. I'm either climbing up that mountain successfully and getting to the other side, or I'm dying trying. That's the mindset. There is so much more to accomplish, so many places to see, so many people to meet. So many fantastic experiences. But you can only experience those if you decide to take responsibility for your fuck-ups. And the comeback will be glorious. People will study your comeback. And they'll be like, how the fuck did that motherfucker right there do it? He lost money. He was out. He was fat. And how the fuck did he make a U-turn completely? How is he now experiencing such a great life? Your story will inspire so many people. Directly and indirectly. Some will admit that your story inspired them. Some won't. Some are watching. But some are taking action based off of the story that they see unfolding in front of their very own eyes. Wow, he's doing this. Wow, wow. Especially when you've been at rock bottom. You relate to so many more people. If everything was given to you in life, 
you have a harder story. It doesn't resonate with as many people. But when you've been down bad, I'm telling you, you can resonate with so many people. So pick yourself up, fix your posture, champ. You're alive, you're breathing. Make a new decision today. You know what that is. You know what your fuck-ups are. Address them. Do not neglect. Because the neglect will build up. Thank you for watching this video, fellas. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll see you boys in the next video. Peace.